Welcome back to Super Hostile Vexylvania. It's time for magic. We have scrolls of identification and spell books to identify. There are this many different kinds of scrolls, apparently. We can make this out of blank scroll, which is paper and string and pearls. Which we get some. I think we have some pearl blocks. That's a thing that exists. So what we need to do is identify some spells here. Currently, we have many unidentified spells. We do have magic missile here. Identifying. There's heal. But besides that, everything else is unknown. Heal. Magic Missile. Let's get identifying. Summon Skeleton. Firebomb. Summon Zombie. Raise Skeleton Mage. Frost Barrier. Muffle. Conjure Block. Force Arrow. Freeze. Force Orb. Heal Ally. Poison Bomb. Poison Wither. Life Drain. Fireball, Light, Arc, Snowball, Ignite, Mine, Animate, Item, Summon, Spider. Grapple, Farsight, Extinguish Flames, Candlelight, Featherfall, Summon, Fire Ant. Grapple, we actually want. And Featherfall could be okay. I think what we really want is Glide, that thing. Windfall Amulet. Flight and Glide are 50% faster. Activate the Glide effect. Uh, we can't search the Glide scroll because we don't have it. But Glide is also something I want. So the way of wands, we have a magic wand. And I think there, there's another wand we had in here. It's not called wand though. Uh, here is it. Faded Cleric Staff. Uh, there's also something necromancy, right? Mm. Nope. There is 8,400 things in here. Um, I'm pretty sure we had a necromancy wand or something. Not as easily searchable. Maybe we lost it, I'm not sure. Faded Cleric Staff. Or, we got a necro. There was a Necromancy something, I don't know. We got a Faded Cleric Staff and a Magic Wand. So if we look at wands here. This one has additional healing potency. So that's something. We just generally need wands in general. This is made with a magic crystal stick and a gold nugget. An apprentice wand. We add that with a Tome of Arcana. Grand magic crystal. Let's see what kind of tomes we have. I want to start off with a decent one here. Here's an apprentice tome. I can make an apprentice wand. And then advanced would take an advanced tome. Which needs an astral diamond, which we don't have currently. So, apprentice wand it is, I suppose. We also have wand upgrade here. A wand condenser to regenerate mana. 
all of these require astral diamonds too, so we can just have the one condenser upgrade here. Put all this together, and we're gonna need some of the magic shards there. Should be able to make a apprentice wand. Or right, this doesn't have enough speed, does it? It needs more progression, I think. Magic wand. Tome of Arcana. This is already apprentice wand. It's durability out of seven hundred. Mana seven hundred on that one. Apprentice wand has a thousand mana. Yeah, we need more progression on the magic wand before we can make that. We can we can make an apprentice wand with a grand magic crystal and a gold ingot. We don't really have a huge amount of mana crystals right now. An advanced magic wand, astral diamond, and a glowing ingot. Yeah. The amount of mana is not super necessary. Grapple is a apprentice spell, though, so we might actually need an apprentice wand. So we need a grand magic crystal. We can do that. Break this into that. Grand Magic Crystal. We take the Grand Magic Crystal and a stick and a gold. And we can st skip the entire progression to apprentice. Perfect. So, this low level wand, not useful. Wizard's apprentice. Very cool. Let's finish we finish this novice hunting at some point. Grab all that. Yeah, look great. A very damaged anvil. Yeah, could be worse. Didn't have an anvil. So we'll place that down. How much iron do we have right now? Some. We could do something to the anvil, probably. Not gonna worry about it right now. Apprentice wand. Grapple. Nice. And the condenser upgrade. So now, this will slowly regenerate mana, and then we'll be able to grapple around, which is very cool. Don't need that, don't need the scrolls. We got some iron tokens here, nothing else. The water bucket for utility. Do the bottomless coal thing. Oh boy, free coal. Did we get another one of those? Yes, we did. Clicking these for free coal even matter? Not really. We have night vision now, so we don't even really care about that. That's fine. We got blocks and stuff. Looking good. How many ladders in here? Three more. Eh, sure. But now that we have a grapple, we can do that. Feather falling would be nice to, to combine with that, but that's okay. Put our levels away, get a level out. Put the XP block away. Put the potatoes in the farming chest. 
So we don't accidentally cook them again. And I think we're ready to head out to intersection two. Here we are. I've blocked up the other two ways. We have Quad Slayer Span, the Alchemy Lab, and Bloodgore Garrison. So we're just gonna head this way first for no particular reason. Is that the area we were up in before? I think it is. Let's just head down this way. Looks like we're heading kind of outside. So that's interesting. We got some trees. It's a weird area. There's like a interesting statue. That's the wool. Another interesting statue. Creepers. Fish. There's no way it's gonna be this easy. That doesn't make sense. Goodbye, Creeper. There's a goblin over there. Hi, goblin. I mean, that's the wool. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't think I have any reason I should trust it. Let's just go, go through here to start. We got some lights. We got a staircase. We got a staircase with no sides. Yeah, trumpet skeletons galore. I mean, I'll take that. That's just that's just tokens, is what that is. Yes, please. And this is this is intersection three. Okay. And we have a infernal goblin coming. Rude. So, Quad Slayer Span, we just went straight through. This way to the Power Plant and Clock Tower. This way to the Library of Dusk. And this way to the Banquet Hall. Alright, cool. Well, I guess let's head to this dungeon that we basically skipped. We just kind of walked straight through. Right. Is, there a, is there anything under this staircase? Since the sides are out. I mean... Yes and no. There's a big empty area with nothing in it. N not even any of the... Stuff hidden behind the... Powder. Kind of deal. Alright, sure. Quad Slayer Span. This is the span. It's doing stuff. So I'm thoroughly expecting nonsense. Hey! This is the, this is the biome. We, no, we looked at grass. Amazing. And that finishes the tutorial section. We still have not been to a birch forest, unfortunately. Um, climb up here. I 
That's not quite enough to get us up here. Oh, now we're not here. Ah, there's a bone knight coming. They're almost dead. Don't want that. Okay. Got some more food. Seeing grass and leech stone. I want to take some of this stuff. Seems pretty neat. There's just there's just invisible blocks here. That's hilarious. Yep, here comes another. Multiple of those guys. Also, we're freezing. guys were a bit much. The diamond boots got destroyed? Really? Oh my gosh. Look how much damage they did. Was that like rust or something? Ridiculous. We have no boots. Give me some iron boots, I guess. I'll be fine for now. Really makes it hard to get anything going. When your stuff is immediately deleted. That's fine. Oh, we got speed button blocks. Fine. At the rate some things kill your armor, even mending's not enough, it seems. And how are we gonna. How do I expect to get myself over there? Still stuff over there. I think we're be I think we're better off going the other way. Let's see, how do we get over there? I think it was like it was just right up in here. And then connected around or something. Um We got ladders. Let's try some ladders. We blocked off this way. That's good. I think we need to go this way, though. Because we can go up and around and get back to that spot, I think. Something like that. It's like through one of the other ways. Seriously, this map seems to be fairly interconnected. Cross back across the bridge over our base. Is it this way? We'll figure it out. The stuff should be in the crab. We're probably fine.
this just looks over another pit. That's not it. Was we losing more soul binding? Soul binding eight. Soul binding has effects. Or do we do we stop going this way because we ran out of torches? It's also possible. Oh, here's one. Now this this goes to the crazy place. Need to go back the other way. All right. But yeah, there's just spawners there. Whether or not they're real spawners or wide area spawners or delayed spawners or there's all sorts of spawners at this rate at this point. But the fact that there is invisible blocks where they can just walk to other parts of the level there, that's pretty f ridiculous. There might be magical walkways to all those islands, for all I know. I can see that happening. This guy's up there. Oh, it's this way. Then this should connect back over to the marbling ga gallery. Where we could grab more of these blocks if we really needed them, but we don't. If there's anything else to see in here, now that we can see things, it doesn't look like it. Got like an area up there. We got our grapple wand back, we can maybe look at that. And where? Oh, this it goes this way. Okay. There's our mimicram. All our stuff. Let us get everything back. Oh, their diamond boots came off with one durability. Weird. Our pick, our shovel is somehow com completely busted for some reason. It feels like part of the durability taking is kind of broken because it just takes durability from random things, it feels like. Interesting. And now we have less health. Of course we do. Let's set up a defensive line here. Another token for me. We can jump across here. So both of our better boots are doing horrifically. And so is all the armor we just made. Of course it is. Yep, here comes some more bone knights. If you need me, I'm gonna be down here in the floor. Well, we can get some tokens from these guys. They light the whole floor on fire. And then their drops disappear in the fire. Hey, you're creamer. Hi. I love the weakness. That also really helps. And they can blow up some of the blocks here. Just 
standing on fire. Give me all that. Alright. More stuff for me. Another heart crystal to get our stuff back. Spider up here? Nope. Alright. We got more stuff over here. More stuff over there. This is an opportunity to grab some interesting blocks. I guess. Got that glowstone. Ooh. What are you? A smoker. And a black bush. It's easier to just mine the bottom bit. You get all the other stuff to pop off. Or it just gets destroyed. That's also possible. I think a lot of these are just like decorative or something. Alright. Nether moss. This is gonna be a lot of stuff from the better nether collection. Look at there. There's some invisible blocks. That's that's crazy. That's crazy is what that is. I wonder what's down in the water. I'm also very concerned about what's down in the water. So we can walk to this. That's something. I'm just I'm gonna sneak along here. Sneak along there? Of course not. But we have grapple. So that makes everything great. I'll be taking that. And a boy creeper. For good measure. And it's an astral diamond shard. Pretty sure that is an astral diamond we could make. There's a hole. Should head up there. And how'd the bow take this much durability? Whole thing's a mess over here. Any invisible box here? Of course there is. Any crazy spawns gonna happen over on this statue? Wouldn't be surprised. Got some hell sprouts. Our boots are almost gone. Oh, there's a secret over there. And a spider over there. The spider is gone. Problem solved. The spider is back. The health spouse dropped another wart. I'll take that. I need that. I'm sad about killing the health sprouts. But it's worth it. Oh yeah, one of those guys. Look at him. Five durability left on this. Oh, they're coming. They found the way. My ghost is.
are just falling down there. I'm sure it's fine. Let's save these boots. Any other boots in here? Nope. Can make some regular iron boots. Even worth it. Honestly, it kinda is. Just because having full defensive coverage is good. We're also freezing. Uncommon, good enough. So let's make haste here. Grab some more of this stuff. Not that we need any of it. Freezing. Yeah, out from underneath the sky there. A pestilence. Okay. Else, Rob, would you like to warm me up a little bit? We have some jars over there. Or one jar at least. Ancient base nether. It contained hearts. Okay. I don't think I have any use for any of this stuff. We got a blight spider. That's something. And where was that hole we saw? There it is. I think we will just fall into the water. So what we're going to do is a bit of climbing. Ah, that puts us in here. Good. Just where I wanted to be. So we can look over this area. Can't hold shift and move that like that. So that's this area. Weird. Had a couple spawners, but not much else going on. And this is this area. Alright. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go fight that blight spider. Yeah, grapple's pretty nice. It gets me where I want to be. Let me drop down on this platform. Head over to here. Miss entirely. End up with a fish. Grapple also has some... Momentum to it. Looks like we lost the blight spider. To get a fancy trumpet skeleton though, and a blight skeleton. So that's good too. We get that XP. Level 26. A whole bunch of heart shards. Here's the Pestilence. Right click to summon a loyal little sledge. It is some kind of wand. Is it? Is it though? Ma Mod Lava Cow Sludge Wand. Little sludge. Yeah, 90 health. 
Hey, how you doing? Wow, that is a lot of the durability. Interesting. Do you, do you follow? Yeah, kinda. Can you make one of these? Silky sludge, vines, and mossy sticks. It's not, not something we can make at all. All right, little sludge. Let's go this way. All right, little sludge. Can you fight some zombies? Okay. Well, it looks like ability to use is like a few times though, unfortunately. Because of the durability on the summoning wand. Weird. Another bit of magic that's kind of eh. And he's dead. Okay. So I used that much. You can you can use it like four times total. Great. Okay. Are we really slow? This is just normal speed. Sure. Okay. Don't know how helpful that's going to be. Just destroying our stuff. Let's head back to base here. Put some stuff away. Hundred and thirty left, my goodness. Honestly, it doesn't feel like we need torches on the bar at this point. Doesn't seem useful. Diamond boots. Iron boots. We can combine these, I guess. Save the enchants on that. Two levels. It says, this has unbreaking four. This has unbreaking five. No one breaking on the dragon scale legs, and we have no dragon scales to repair it with. Put some stuff away. Let's keep the water bucket for now. Got some heart containers. Saving those for something, I think. And we got some tokens. Let's go see what we can do with all this. Let's see if we can get some upgrades from the person we brought up here. I was gonna put away the pink wool, which is apparently. Skipping two. That's okay. Anastasia. Healer balance chest plate? Nah. We get the amulet of vitality. Excess health from healing cells to convert into absorption hearts. That's pretty cool. We get absorption hearts. It's actually not bad. That requires silver tokens. Honestly, I'm just gonna take it. 
What can a what can a silver token trade for anyway? We go in here into currency exchange. Silver token is infernal tier three. Three. And infernal tier three. Stuff like lapis or gold. Sea serpent scales. Some books, some diamonds, astro diamonds. I mean, there's lots of good stuff in here. But this is just a straight up upgrade. So I'm just going to take it. More max health and also more damage for everything. And it only costs one heart container. So buying this for the one heart container is literally going to give us more hearts than the heart container would. We only have two silver tokens. Darn. Alright. How about the Paladin's Ring then? More max health, armor toughness, knockback resistance, armor, and magic shielding. For the copper tokens, which are even worse. Take that trade. So I just need another silver token. And then we'd be pretty solid. Put on this ring. Look here, we have a plus six and a plus six. This gives spell range modifier but increased mana cost. So, nah. I'll take this one instead. We can't put the ring in any of the other slots. We also have this thing here. Which gives us dig speed and max health, but negative armor. So, the light doesn't matter at all anymore, but still, plus 10 max health. Probably worth it. We just need a silver token. And then we're good to go on that. Can't really exactly go get a silver token super quick anywhere. Put that away. Put these away. Never know when you might need some blocks and stuff. I can need these, though. I can find just a few more infernals. I'm just going to look around here in section one. And the starting area. Try to farm a little bit. Also looking for grottles. I see one. Because we still do need more diamonds. It looks like he was managing to escape. I'm not sure if they're spidery. Don't know if they could escape there. Another one for me. Get all these diamonds to get more diamond equipment. The, the constant breaking. And the infernals. Doesn't seem like there's much over here, currently. We'd probably just be better off continuing in the map to find more guys. It's unfortunate that there's not a whole bunch of grottles that spawn over at Intersection 2 or anything. Since we really have no reason to come back to Intersection 1 anymore. So we're not going to get any more of these grottle spawns. So we're not going to get any more diamonds, really. That's unfortunate. There's a grottle down at the bottom.
I kind of just need to stick around here a little bit. Grab more diamonds. It's a system. I, I don't. At this point, I don't even know if there's a spawner. It just might be because of the biome here. Mushroom Island. It's a thought. There was a. I think there was an actual spawner here at the beginning. Because there's just the quantity of grottles. I think we're pretty much done with that at this point. Alright. So I think what I need to do is just continue with the map. And whenever I get another silver we can trade it in. See if I can just open up the other one still. Without worrying. Uh, yeah. Healer, battle mage, chest plate. Trading a copper token for a bunch of healing stuff. Gold token for a wand. Yeah. So basically, I wanted to get three silver tokens, and we're good for that. So. Three silver tokens and how many heart crystals? One. So we are free to put two of these back in ourselves. Perfect. So we can turn in the copper and the iron tokens. Get some stuff from that. Alright. Not the silver. Copper and iron. Put away all the stuff that wasn't from that. And the silver tokens. I'll put the silver tokens and the heart over here. So I remember not to just use those up. Pile of things. Pile of things. And some liner material. Nice. Six health, protection one, bone reed door, one lapis, leather stuff. <laughs> yeah. Need to get that many Aussie liners or that many Aussie liners for it to do anything. And a copper hammer. Okay. So that is Quad Slayer Span. There was two things and not much happened. What are we got in here? Maybe we can enchant this. Let's enchant you. Grab it all the junk. Do we even do we even care? It's it's gonna get us more copper nuggets by a tiny amount. Not super important. We're out of space again. We have the large warehouse storages which require 20 building. And our building is at 16. You know what? 48. Breathing. Don't care about that either. Not the huge amount of XP I was hoping for at this point. We do have the Book of Memory and all this experience. The XP bottles are not. Amazing either. All right, we can't we can't eat the pie because we are full hunger. Right? Yeah, not that it gives much either way. This iron door is making nuggets. We're still full here. Book of memories, level fifty-eight. Now 
Is this one of the things where it doesn't take all the levels? I hope it is. 58 becomes 57. Perfect. 20 building. Yay. Just slap down all these large warehouses. That totally counts. I have 24,000 space. Fantastic. Anything else we really need to worry about here? Anything they really care about getting higher level? I don't think so. Any effects I'd really want to get? Already have that one. Green thumb. Grow things faster if I get 16 farming. Sure. Yeah, some other plants growing, I guess. Agility, we can get road walking, and the auto step height things, not something they even want in the first place. So that's taken care of. Auto feeding is awkward because it sometimes eats the wrong things and the saturation doesn't work too well. Defense. We can get this. Hit by a monster under good post effects, a chance to probably get the bad version of the attacker. So if we had some kind of strength buff, it would give them weakness or something. So it takes eight skill points. There we go. We're a defense master now. Good. That's the ability of Corsair to use this block transmutation agent. Transform some blocks into others. Don't need that. Landing a blow on a creeper just starts igniting will neutralize it for a few seconds. That requires attack 24. And we get a strength buff, so that's going to give things weakness now. It also requires 10 skill points, which we're probably not even going to be able to get to at this point. You might as well drop at least one item if applicable. Take that. And we can almost get the fishing, if that mattered. Ender pearls won't hurt. Golden tools repair themselves. Eh. I already have everything in mining. So. Well, that's something. Repair these with like just diamonds, right? Just don't really have a huge amount of diamonds to be spending on that at this point. We have an astral diamond. Sh we have another astral diamond we could use. Hmm. We have diamond boots. With no enchantment whatsoever. Should got an enchant on the diamond boots. That's probably a good idea. Don't have the levels for it now. Yeah, we need, kind of need diamond pants at this point that we can repair with diamonds so when we find more diamonds. So we take this and throw some diamonds at it. That'll repair it. Same story with that. So these are falling apart quickly. I think we're just going to make some diamond pants. Maybe we can get a better enchant on these at some point. Let me repair these. I don't know if soul binding really does anything on armor since it seems to... Well, I don't know if it armor. Auto keeps. And that anvil's broken. Get another anvil. No, we can make another anvil though. We got some iron now.
Scramble. Basically, need a full new pair of diamond boots at this point. We could grab the XP off these and try for a better enchant on these, too. Probably help. Not quite enough levels, though. So. We will bring the... We should probably bring a different pair of leggings. We'll bring the steel legs. With all their interesting effects. Save the diamond for a pair. I still have a huge amount of diamonds. Backup legs. Not enchanted. Good enough. Grab a level. I'll be able to head out. Uncommon helmet. Common boots. Good enough. Yep. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. So we'll head to... What looks to be one of the earlier parts of Intersection 2. Even though, honestly, that part was not too hard, except for the two Death Knights killing us. So, we will see what the other parts of Intersection 2 have to offer. Next time. Goodbye.